It's like we're second class citizens if you're a cannibal in this country. Hi, I'm, I'm Steve Gutowski. I'm here at the Dan Joseph of the Media Research Center on the second edition of Games and Guns. Today we're going to be playing Call of Duty Ghosts. The gun that I'll be focusing on trying to use, uh, which should be pretty hilarious, is the SIG P226. Here is the P226, by the way. It's, um, it's a handgun made by SIG Sauer. And if anyone's ever played Call of Duty out there, you would know that this honey badger here is just a little bit better for killing people than a handgun. Much like real life, uh, surprisingly, handguns are not the most accurate things, uh, and they don't have the best range. So I'll probably get killed a lot, but at least you'll get to see how this game handles this guy. You killed twice killed, but, while you were talking here. But I killed a guy with the SIG, with the SIG so... Uh, I'm awesome is the moral of that story. Anyway, it's cold. It's cold in this room. It's cold in the entire country. There's some sort of vortex of coldness or something. I don't really know. I'm not a scientist. But uh, I think we should discuss that. Yeah. Well, today was actually the coldest day in 20 years. The last time it was this cold, as cold as it was today, was in 1994. Oh I God. was in ninth grade. Because you're old. Yeah, because I'm a really yeah. old guy. I was like and three. Yeah, I mean, it was it was, it was horrible. I, I mean, I was out there pretty much for about an hour and a half today. We decided to go out and see if we could get people to sign a petition um, demanding that President Obama fight harder on the global warming issue. So basically we were asking them, you know, hey, help stop this horrible global warming that's that's going on right now. And you Well, know, yeah, this is a byproduct of global warming, this extreme cold. Right, and a lot of people told me that I was silly, you know, look how cold it is out here. But then I said to them, no, no, you don't understand. You see, when it's this cold, that is because of global warming. And when yeah. it's really hot, that's because of global warming, too. They asked me, how does that work? And I said, oh, it's just, you know, it's science. It's just science. Science. It's the greenhouse gas effect, which, right. if anyone's ever been in a greenhouse, sometimes uh, it gets freezing cold and snows in them. That's right. To be a true believer in global warming, you have to go on a global warming expedition to the Antarctic and get yeah. your ship stuck in ice. Yeah. Well, first That's of all, how I, you know if you're a true believer. You know, Who else is just of, a poser? What a great job to have where you can't possibly fail at it. Yeah, Wherever you can't ever be wrong, so <laughs> it's impossible to be wrong if you're a global That's warming so researcher. Wonderful. It doesn't matter if, you, if your expedition gets literally stuck in ice your colleagues will will find some way to defend you as being. The thing there's going to be no ice in the in the in the Arctic Circle and right. at the poles. That's that's the whole thing. Is that Al Gore once said that it was all going to be gone by now, by like this year, yep. and if they're getting stuck in. It. I know that. Well, what was it? Ted Turner. He he said we would all be cannibals in a couple of years. Which I was kind of looking forward to because that would have given me an excuse to eat human flesh, which I haven't been able to do uh, in polite society as of right now. So uh, which is you know, really unfair. Because it's, it is unfair, you know? It's like we're second-class citizens if you're a cannibal in this country. We, we suffer from a lot of racism against cannibals in this country. Um, and uh, that really needs to stop. I'm hoping the Supreme Court takes up our cause. I'm actually doing quite well with this P226, which probably means we're playing really bad people. All right, never mind. Um, I have eight kills. That's that impressive. It makes me want to buy a SIG Sour P226, to be honest with you. Because uh, I'm, I'm killing it. Doing relatively well. We even won the match somehow, even though you got zero kills and zero score and 11 deaths. Nice job, man. <laughs> That's you. Look at you. Look at you go, man. Getting easy kills on me. You guys went in and, and killed all the other players. It's, it's pretty good strategy here. Well, uh, for your first time, I would say that that was, it was pretty awful, but... Uh, yeah, that's pretty bad, huh? I mean, look at that. It's zero, zero all points. Across the board except for deaths, which is 11. You know, this is why I like Mario. No one shoots back at you in Mario? You just jump around, you get coins. You, you know, you get to dress up. Like the new Mario game is great. You get to dress up like a cat and climb up walls. It's right up my alley. It's right that my is your world. fantasy. So it's my, it's my fantasy world. Having known you for several years, that uh, dressing up as a cat and climbing walls has always been a dream of yours. Like my real life. It's like playing a video game of my real life. That would be horrible, actually, if you actually played a video game of your real life. Could you imagine? I would like play that. And you're like driving to work in the morning, you drink some coffee, then you sit at your desk, and you type in the game. 
It's that's isn't that what what was it? Second Life, right? Yeah, remember Second that? Life, I never really played Second Life. I heard a lot about it, but I never like knew anybody who was playing it or was. And then, is there yeah. a band called Metric? I think so. Right? There's a band. That's a band. Album. That's all I listen to. What? I only listen to the new Beyonce album. Uh, well, can't go wrong. Did you have to go outside today? Did I? Ha uh, I sort of did. I mean, I had to go out to get to my car, and then you from my car. You felt the cold, right? Yeah. And you felt how bad it was. I'd never felt anything quite like that before in my life. Even in '94, I think I would have remembered it, but it was it was amazingly cold. And I had shaved just the night before. I had this goatee, and I, you know, I had gotten rid of it so the skin underneath was like really sensitive i had it for like a year and a half and uh, it just oh man i picked the wrong day to shave and to quit smart. smoking crack not smart well yeah every day is the wrong day to do that though <laughs> every day is the wrong day to do that which is why i will not that's so. why i refuse i had so much crack earlier right before i came on here just so i could talk a lot and you know well, we need you to fill up time. This is like an hour-long show, so it's good. It's true. It's a long show. So I, I recommend that as show prep for people who come on the show. Yeah. Drink a lot of Mountain Dew and, you know, a little bit of crystal meth. <laughs> Won't yeah. hurt you. All right. I got a kill. Hey. <laughs> your first one? Yeah. Look at you. You're growing up right before our eyes. I am. This is great. Now I'm addicted. I, I want to, like, swear at some teenagers. Over yeah. the headset or something like they now you have to like freak out on some 13 year olds right. you'll be a true call of duty expert yep oh, we lost we lost and it was all your fault i got two kills hey look you only died twice too that's impressive i died 22 times i think so. i've got the strategy down what i do is i run and i hide and i spend You're my a camper entire, the entire game hiding they call that camping and everyone hates that but no okay camping. it was so encaps uh encap Captivating? In, in cap I don't even know words anymore. But words are, uh, hard. <clears throat> words are words are difficult things. So Old Spice, mm. um, has a crazy new commercial. Have you seen this, I Dan did. Joseph? I did. That during the game the other day, and I, I I thought. I mean, I know that you're a fan of Musk. I am. Just generally. I enjoy a nice Musk occasionally. I have a musky scent. Manly Musks. Yes. And so Old Spice. That's like your thing. It seems that they're trying to expand beyond like the creepy sort of middle-aged man mm -hmm. demographic that you fit so well, right. and into like I don't know low twenties, early you know late teens demo that that axe the axe body sprayers. Yes, axe body spray that they have locked up so well. It's all about how uh, Old Spice body spray made a man sprayed a man out of my son. Mm -hmm. And like this bunch of like mothers and like ones holding on to the bumper of a car, they're sort of like stalking their sons as right. they go on dates, but in like the creepiest, weirdest way possible. Yeah. Like one falls out of the sky and starts playing a violin. But I think what their goal was with the, I mean, they must sell or else they wouldn't sell it. But I think what the goal was of this was to make a commercial so creepy and so disturbing that everybody would be talking about it the next day. I just think that the audience is people who who like really the that sort of weird brand of. Um, comedy that old spice has like the hilarious right. bizarre but hilarious stuff that they do well, you know and what else? I, mean, I thought it was i thought it was funny i actually use old spice now yeah because i'm a man and that's You're, what men do you finally in puberty is that it uh yes exactly Good. congratulations that's awesome thank you no it's problem. a very uh personal time but that's good yeah well, i figured i would share it with you because your mom upset you're a good friend my mom did. She did fall out of the sky and start playing a violin. I don't know if that's. I just thought that was a common thing, but people people were talking about this commercial like, that's, "Oh, that's weird. It's, that yeah. doesn't happen in real life." And I was like, "What do you mean?" Do people who have grew up around guns start playing first person shooters because they have guns? I don't think so. Mm, um, think just... That's not the reason for it. I think the other way around happens. Like you grew up. Uh, playing video games, playing first person shooters, that could get you into guns in real life mm -hmm. i think it, it did partially for me um just because it's the real deal is is so much more fun than than even like the video game versions but, but I, mean, I, I don't know, know that there's a lot of crossover the other way around ladders so i that's why i love donkey kong 
Yeah, because you can get into that in real life. I would dress up like a monkey and just throw stuff at people and, you know, kidnap girls. Yeah, you kidnap, uh, didn't you? Yeah, you kidnapped that, that uh, wasn't it like a dental assistant and you yeah, took her to yeah. a, like a water tower and you started throwing barrels at the cops yeah. or something? But I know, actually, that was really weird because there was like an Italian plumber that started trying. He, yeah, he's, he's the one that captured he, you. He eventually failed because he fell off the he fell off the thing, and then he it was bloody, man. He was he was not in good shape after that. And then his brother came by. And they yeah. were dressed like exactly alike, only he was wearing uh, like green or something. Right. And he he comes at me with this hammer. I thought it was neon. I don't know, man. I don't remember. This was a long time ago. Remember how much older I am than you? That's true. And it was just it was just a messy situation. They never, they never caught me though, you know, because because well, of the monkey suit. You probably shouldn't be talking about this on the internet. Statue of Limitations, man. Oh, well, yeah. that works out. Did you mm. see Jay Carney uh, hit puberty the other day. He did. I was so proud of him. I think, I think it was the uh, to tie it together. Uh, what happened was, I think he sprayed on some of that uh, old spice. Yeah. And where where he sprayed it, that's where he grew new hair. These guys are great at strategy, you know. This is how you do it. You do to make people not think about Obamacare. Oh, let's let's tape some cubes to Jay Carney's face, and we'll put him out there. And within ten minutes, everybody will be talking about that instead of about the horrible health care law that we passed. And you know what? It worked. The story on Twitter was far more about his beard than about you know how hard it is to sign up a, a child for your plan on Obamacare. I, you know what? I, until I saw because kids look, kids don't need health care. No. Okay, kids yeah. have too much health care these days. We need to toughen them up. I'm glad that Obamacare is finally taking the steps. Look, okay, kid, yeah, you don't need health care. You, you can grow up just like your great-great-great-grandfather, who whenever he would step on a nail, you just pull it out, spit on it, and go about your day. <laughs> As a man who just grew a beard recently, I have to defend Jay Carney a little bit. Mm. Beards are awesome. Um, I don't know that his is, is that awesome. But beards are awesome. Well, you know what I was thinking? And I would commend any man or man boy <laughs> spokesperson. <laughs> man boy spokesperson. Who uh, really, is considering like, growing a beard to do something. Someone photoshopped uh, a beard onto Dana Perino. <laughs> really? Because <laughs> like, she was a spokesperson for Bush at, towards yeah. the end there. <clears throat> so someone was photoshopped a beard onto her. And I thought that was a very um, attractive look. <laughs> and I, I wonder why more, more women don't grow yeah. beards. I think it'll come in fashion at some point, though. I mean, I, think about it. If you can make a living off of it, bearded woman is a profession. Well, you know, really, like... I don't see why, you don't, why more women don't do it. There could be changes in, like, what we find attractive in the culture. Like, it used to be that, you know, bigger, huskier women were very attractive back in the Renaissance period. So it's not totally outside of the realm of possibility that someday... Mm -hmm. You know, women with a lot of facial hair could become the standard for beauty in our society. That's your prediction, isn't it? You're making a prediction right now. And I'm not just saying in the, in the you know, long term. I think, like, next year, perhaps. Yeah, you're declaring on this show your New Year prediction. Lady Beards that... will be in in 2015. That's my prediction. If you tilt that camera slightly to the left, you can't tell me that there isn't a stripper pole. I'm too tired. It's, it's, I've had a long day. I'm disappointed. This is the only reason I brought you on. It's a fun game. I mean, I, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm enjoying like going around and seeing a lot of, the sights. A lot of pretty colors. There are a lot of pretty colors. Is there a dog? I just saw a dog. Yeah, there's dogs. dogs. They got dogs, dogs in this one. My girlfriend was very excited about the, the dogs. That's kind of cool. And then she gets upset when I kill one of the dogs. If it's yeah. if it's trying to like rip my throat out and I kill it, she's like, "No, oh, you killed the dog." Like right oh, now, die. Bad. Killed a dog. She's gonna be upset when she watches this. <clears throat> stab you, stab you guy. Hey, you're dead stab now because I stabbed you in the face. I didn't Boom. know that was an option. Stabbing in the face, that's always an option. I thought it was going to be a, uh, like a link up between Call of Duty and the movie Ghost. <laughs> that would like be a game. Demi no, I would play that. Oh, there you are. Hey, I'm shooting at you. Hey. Uh, can you wave in this game? Can you like, hi. Yeah, here. See? What did I just do? Oh, you... You're throwing a grenade! You're going to kill us! I can't imagine why this 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 town has no people in it. <laughs> the one restaurant, all they served was chili and donuts. Of course, they all died from dysentery like a year ago. <laughs> dysentery. What are you looking at the trash can for? Oh, God. I was. I was trying to see if there's anything good in there. You never know. <laughs> so you were hungry? Like they're old chili and donuts. They're, they're donut chili burger in there. 
done surprisingly well with this handgun. I still it's haven't got a weird. single ghost. I did get a couple DMs that said it was awesome. So DPs? You got some DPs on I there? Got, yeah, there was a uh, dick pic, but attached to it was some text. <laughs> some text, and it said, <laughs> I wouldn't think watching dudes play video games and talk about stuff would make for good TV, but this show is surprisingly entertaining. <laughs> So that's probably the best review I've ever gotten. You know what's weird about this level? Hmm. No payphones. Why did I, I randomly switch to the other gun? Now, now the episode's ruined. We'll have to do this all over again. Uh-huh. I'm sorry. So this will only take another hour and a half or so. God damn it. Luckily, you have no life or loved ones. That's true. So. That's why you had me on. That's what. That's the only criteria I have for this show. All right, man. Well, thanks then. for having me on. I appreciate it. Thanks for coming on. Plan is to do this every week at 7 p.m. on Tuesdays for the live stream, and then I'll, I'll have uh, the edited version of the show up um, on Thursday. And Where every other months. week we'll have a, an episode where we shoot shoot the actual guns from the game and see what they how they compare. 